hold your peace before God. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord is in his temple. Let all flesh be quiet. Wait before him. If you read Exodus 24 verses 12 to 18, God called Moses to wait before him on the mount. He said, come. Come and wait. I want to talk with you. So Moses went up on the mount. He was waiting. One hour passed by. Two hour passed by. Three hour passed by. If God had told that to you, what would you have done? Five minutes. Ayo, so late. Ah. Ayya, so late. Ready? I have no time. Ah. And you will start walking away. Or we'll take our iPad. Let's kill the time. Play some games. <laughs> One day passed by. God didn't show up. Two days. Three days. Four days. Five days. Six days. For six full days. And full night. Moses was waiting for God on the mount. Because God said, come and wait. He did not say, come and wait and see. If I didn't show up, you can go back home. He didn't say that. He said, come and wait. And he waited. Six days. And on the seventh day, God spoke to him. For six days, God waited to see whether Moses will wait. Whether you have the patience to wait. It's not just waiting, you know. God is renewing you. Refining you. Purifying you. Transforming you. Changing you to see His glory. Some things that sometimes we ask for, we ask for two big things. Say, I want to see your face, Lord. I want to hear your face. I mean, I want to hear your voice. We all have those desires. Good desires. But our soul is so corrupted, so decayed. You cannot immediately see even when the Lord is standing right before your face. So first you need to be clean of all the decays. It takes time. The problem is not with God. The problem is with us. It's because of all the corruption in your heart. All the layers of flesh, fat, in the heart that prevents you from seeing God. I'm sure you all have had pork fat. It is very, very thick, no? <laughs> At least three or four inches thick. That much of layer of fat, flesh is on our heart. So it needs to be burned. The layers need to be burned. So when you wait on God, the fires come to burn. It burns, it burns and burns. And the burning is relative to how much you yield. How much you are willing to let go. If you are not willing to let go, you are not willing to yield, then the fire will be stopped. Because you have put a block. Lord, you can have anything in my life except this. There are some compartments where we hide things and we say, God, you have no access there. I'm sure you have said like that. And until you open that closet and allow God to enter in completely, then you are not going to get what you want to get. Either you surrender 100% or you don't surrender. No such thing as 99.9% .9 surrender. It's 100% or nothing. The Lord Jesus said, take up my cross and follow me. It's a cross. And a cross demands sacrifice. It's not easy. But if you're not willing to pay the price, then can, can, can carry plastic cross. That so many of us carry today.